Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Harold. I'm the CEO at Go Be Great. And what I want to lead you through today is adding some yogic breathing to your cardio routine. For today, in this routine, I'm going to be doing it on a treadmill and I'll be walking. If this is too easy for you, you can, you can run. But I want to just create a foundation of maybe a new paradigm for you to get more out of your exercise period in a shorter period of time without the wear and tear that we get from traditional western exercise of heavy mouth breathing creating a lot of repetition in our joints which wears out our ligaments and cartilage and over incinerates muscle tissue which makes it difficult for our immune system to clean the mess up after the workout so breath-based exercise is something that i'm big on and everything i do when i exercise is around respiration and breath control. I always breathe through my nose, utilizing the nostril breath for strength in the diaphragm, strength in the intercostals, the muscles of inhale, so I can expand my ribs so my lungs can fill to their full five core capacity. I want to complete my exhale so the diaphragm muscle is forced up underneath the rib cage, giving my lungs and, and my heart a wonderful massage. And we activate the energy of the carbon dioxide, which gives us a deep relaxation response. So that the total volume of air between inhale and exhale is constantly growing and growing and growing. We're trying to breathe as slowly as possible and we're trying to add depth to the inhale, taking the qualities of the inhale as far into our nervous system and tissues as possible, and we're trying to complete the exhale, completing a complete excavation of what has just taken place from the inhale, the movement, and then releasing that on the exhale. So we're getting the oxygen out of the carbon dioxide and incorporating it into the next inhale. Step one is learning how to breathe through your nostrils and breathing through your throat at the same time. So I'm talking about something from the yoga systems where we talk about the ocean sounding breath where we're creating the sound of the ocean off in the distance, which creates a filtration process. And it prepares the air, which is dry, to come in to the heart and lungs, prepared, it's steamed, it's warmed, it's humidified. And it's easier for the body to make that exchange from dry to moist as the air is prepared. So you're using less energy to get yourself up and running. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna start by taking the right hand up to our face. And here we're gonna breathe through our mouth. So just breathing through your mouth, pretend this is a mirror and try to fog it. Go through a couple rounds of this. Close your eyes, bring the hand up, and just exhale through your mouth. And with your brain's ear and eye, begin to establish your attention, where you feel the sound coming from in your throat. One more. Good. Now try to breathe through your nose and contract the part of the throat that your brain just identified and just try to breathe that way. And I want you to really practice breathing through your nose and making that sound. So but before we begin the cardio, let's do a little bit of stretching. So we'll start by just bringing the leg up. And when we bring the leg up like this, you can see you're getting your buttock and your quad. And you just gently squeeze there. And you breathe the way I just showed you. Lift the chest, gentle squeeze. Complete the inhale, complete the exhale. Good. Release. And now for the back of the leg. Bring the leg up, extend the foot away, and simply reach out across with a straight spine and try to come out across the leg. If you want to grab the foot, that's fine. If not, just stretch open the back of the leg now and sense the energy from the buttock through the three hamstring muscles, underneath your knee hinge, moving through the muscles of the calf, and then out through your heel plate. Just fold down. Ocean sounding breath in your throat, nostril breathing. If you want a little more, 
you can take the hand on the outside and just get a little twist. And that's going to open the rib cage, rotate the lower back, and give you a wonderful cleanse of the kidneys. And then coming back and switch. Bring the opposite leg up, hold the knee, open the chest. Now pull the elbows back. Take a couple deep breaths right there. Concentrate deeply inside, but do not place any attention on your thoughts. So just let go of any cognitive science for the moment. Just breathe and feel the space you're creating. I like to do these for seven to ten breaths. That creates a nice little warm up in my lower body, warming up the lower body mechanics for cardiovascular activity. And then getting into the back of the leg, hamstring, glute, just coming out, getting yourself that stretch. If you want to bend the knee, that's fine. Make sure you draw the toes up towards your nose and that will activate the back of the leg. If you point your toes away, you'll feel the hamstring soften and the top of the leg will get tight. So we don't want to stretch the quad or the shin or anything in the top of the ankle. We just warm that up. Here we draw the toes to the nose, we come out and we get that nice heat in the back of the leg. You could sense the fascia stretching open surrounding the muscles and the muscles that imbue the back of the femur in the back of the fibia. And if you want a little more, just grab the outside, get your twist. I'm going to turn away from you for a moment and just breathe. Just feel and relax. And then come back. Maybe fold down just for that little bit right at the end, and then come back. Upper body. Take your hands, inhale, clasp, hold in, pull back and down, and squeeze your core. Bend your knees slightly, hold the breath in, squeeze your core, exhale, stand up, shake out your hands. Deep breath in, clasp back, hold in. Bend your knees slightly, sink down, and hold in. Draw up on the buttock, squeeze your core. Exhale, shake it out. Let go of any tension in your hands, your forearms. And then come back again, last time. Inhale, hold, pull back, sink down. Exhale, come up, shake it out. Let your head go side to side. Bring the chin down. Pendulum movement. Warming up the sternocleidomaxoid, the scalenes, muscles in the back of the neck. And just massaging the cervical spine. Eyes and jaw are soft. Opening up the trachea. Massaging the esophagus. Activating the vagus nerve. Entering the body through C5, C6. And just relax. Breathing deeply in a rhythmic fashion. Breathing through your nose and using the ocean sound that we investigated a few moments ago. Mm. Let's come back. We're going to begin. So, I have a hand towel or a Kleenex with me. When you breathe through your nose and you do the ocean sounding breath, there's going to be a lot of mucus and mucus or inflammatory substances are what we want to detox ourselves up with in this exercise program. So breathing through your nose, you'll notice that you're going to release a lot more waste with a lot less wear and tear from vigorous exercise. Okay? So the first goal of exercise is detox. So just start to find a pace that's right for you. Notice your feet striking the ground. You're breathing through your nose. Ocean sound. Your tailbone is tucked under. And as you draw the tailbone forward, that little coccyx bone, 
Notice the spine becomes longer. There's more support in your lumbar. As the diaphragm presses down on the inhale, the tailbone is tucked. You have good support. Shoulder blades are back and down. Long neck. Crown of the head never moves. Don't let the head move. Everything else is like a tail and it will create other muscular contraction or a waste of energy that you don't need to do in your exercise routine. Eyes, low jaw, completely relaxed. Hands, relaxed. No tension in the hands. Bring yourself to the present moment and let's begin. I'm going to count as my feet strike the ground. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to count my steps. I'm going to inhale for five steps and then I'm going to exhale for ten steps. And as I exhale for ten steps, the HPA accessor, hypothalamus pituitary adrenal gland in my brain, which regulates am I safe, am I not safe, will begin to relax. And as it begins to relax, my body's going to secrete serotonin. And serotonin is a cooling, relaxing hormone which alerts the body that the brain is safe and you can begin to burn fat. You don't want to burn sugar in the majority of your exercise. You want to metabolize fat. So let's begin. Inhale five, exhale 10. If that's not right for you, inhale four, exhale eight. Or inhale three, exhale six. Remember, less is more. Let's begin. Another 45 seconds here. Whatever your inhale is, try to let the exhale be twice as long as that. You'll notice you probably don't exhale this long regularly, so this is going to be challenging. So stay relaxed as the body makes transitions energetically going into deeper layers of relaxed, warm energy. Relax now. Breathe at the pace the body wants to breathe. Let the nervous systems recalibrate on their own from the controlled breathing. And watch what happens to your heart rate, and then watch what happens to the neurochemistry of your brain. We'll take 40 seconds here. Review your physical posture. Feet striking the ground. Tailbone is tucked forward. Ribs, shoulders lift away from the hips. Chest is open. Crown of the head doesn't move. Eyes, low jaw, completely relaxed. You just feel. Resist thinking. Wonderful. By now, you should have incorporated the changes and you should feel like maybe my feet are going faster without my brain telling the feet to move faster. Isn't that wonderful? So the body has its own intelligence. Next technique, inhale five. Retend the breath, an internal retention for five. Exhale for 10. Inhale five, hold five, exhale 10. If that isn't right for you, inhale four, hold four, exhale eight. Or inhale three, hold three, 
exhale six. You get the formula. You add the first two numbers together and that creates your exhale. Let's begin. Ocean sounding breath. We're going to go for another 45 seconds. Remember, get a long inhale. Hold the breath in the same amount of steps it took you to achieve your inhale. Add those two numbers together. There's your exhale. Stay with it. You're doing great. integration breaths, letting go of control of the breathing, and let the various systems of the body integrate the breath control. We'll take a minute here. Connect yourself with your lower body. Follow the breath in and out, but don't try to control the breath. Continue to relax as far inside wherever you are, whether it's a mental awareness, or whether it's a physical muscle, or organ, or spinal area, or the soles of your feet, wherever you are, go deeper into it and relax. Absorb its knowledge. Before we begin the next technique, notice those, the adhesions around breathing that we're normally unconscious of are starting to break up. And we can inhale and exhale without the inhale being blocked or inhibited or bumpy or jumpy. And how the body-mind enjoys that. Next technique, inhale five, hold five, exhale five, and hold out for five. Now when you exhale for that five, put a little more vigor into it so you can get a little more waste out. You've already trained your body to exhale for 10. So we're going to cut the exhale in half, but try to add a little more volume to the exhale so it's a little more vigorous. Inhale five, hold five, exhale five, and hold the breath out for five. And remain calm. Be the breath. Open your cells, open your mind to the breath retentions. Let's begin. If five isn't right for you, whatever your inhale is, whether it's four or three or nine, the three other components will be the same the common denominator is the length of your inhale. I'm simply working with the number five. If you're working with four, inhale four, hold four, exhale four, hold out for four. This is very non-competitive. You get a lot more out of it.
This is challenging. If you need to take a resting breath, just a simple inhale and exhale, or two or three of those without the retentions, let that happen as you introduce these strategies to the cells of your body and the respiratory and cardiovascular system along with the central nervous system of the brain. Another 45 seconds. It's called my four-part breath. Inhale five, hold five, exhale five, hold out for five. Now take the next minute and just feel the energy dropping from the retentions. Just sense the shifts internally. Limit the languaging of the narrative in your mind. Keep trying to hold that stage blank and observe and witness the internal awareness without the need to compete, without the need to judge yourself or judge others or label this experience as better than another. It's opening yourself to a sense of equanimity. Now, after this minute, how does this feel? Your legs feel lighter? Do you feel like they want to move faster without you neurologically telling the fascia to ignite the spark of the muscles and bones faster? I can notice my feet want to move faster on their own. And this means that we're becoming more powerful with a lower heart rate. Isn't that great? Next technique. Let's inhale five. Hold 10 and try to exhale 15. There'll be no holding out. If that isn't right for you, maybe you want to inhale 4, hold 8, exhale 12. Or inhale 3, hold 6, exhale 9. Remember, each round is independent of the previous round. So one round, you might only inhale 3 and then hold 6, exhale 9. But the next round, you might inhale five, hold 10, exhale 15. Or it might be you might inhale eight, hold 16, exhale 24. So there's, there'll be peaks and valleys here as the respiratory and cardiovascular system recalibrate and the diaphragm and the vagus nerve become more amplified in their ability to give you skillful, optimal exercise. So we're gonna inhale, hold in. We're going to double the holding in. So if you inhale five, the holding in will be ten. We'll add those two numbers together and we want to really exhale slowly. So the way we do that is we become aware of the muscles and cells around the top of the trachea. There's cartilage and muscle there. And we just want to kind of bleed the two lungs out like balloons slowly. Getting control of this exhale is a great key to not having to kill yourself in your exercise routine while at the same time getting a great cerebral and physiological detox wherever you feel it's efficient for you. Let's begin. I'm going to begin in three, two, one. Inhale five. Hold ten. Exhale fifteen. Inhale five. Hold ten. Exhale fifteen. Mm -hmm. 
come a little shorter breath. This round, I'm going to inhale four, hold eight, exhale 12. Begin. That felt good. Now I'm going to go back to five. One more. Stay calm. Take a few resting breaths. Try to inflate the lungs 5% more than you normally do. And at the other end of the seesaw, try to deflate the lungs 5% longer. So notice you're actually getting heat by controlling your breathing rather than creating fire or heat from simply creating friction from skeletal, muscular, nervous system movement at joints. So just continue to relax. Go back to the fundamentals. Feet striking the ground. Coccyx bone tucked forward. Spine straight. Shoulder blades back and down. Arms are relaxed. Crown of the head doesn't move. Martial arts gaze, relaxed eyes, not really focusing on anything too directly. And keeping the lip, jaw, tongue area completely relaxed during your exercise routine. I'm going to come into stillness now. So that's 20 minutes on the treadmill. I did it walking. You could do this running if you wanted to. I feel really good after that just from a walk. And just by controlling my breath, even though I was only physically walking, I'm getting the sensations as if I did run. But I didn't put my body under the rigors and wear and tear and compression of running. So this is a wonderful way to warm up or cool down or also let it be a standalone workout. There's thousands of different ways that you can sequence the breath to help your respiratory system and your cardiovascular system metabolize and eliminate inflammation, fat, bacteria, mucus, and phlegm, while at the same time amplifying the neurochemical process so that we have a lot of serotonin in the brain. We have a lot of dopamine. All the neurochemicals that we like to see present with endorphins, which is a natural opiate, which allow us to flow through exercise. Our comfort zone is huge. And it doesn't really seem like it's that hard as something greater than ourself begins to move our neuromusculoskeletal system. So stretching back down, we can start with the top of the leg and just squeeze. Meditative breath and just let the body cool down. Extend the leg away and just fold down. And there's the sensations. So get long. From the back of the leg, lift the spine and come out forward if you wish to your desired level of sensation. Remember, you can also twist here. We can grab on the inside 
and we can twist back. We can bring the hand onto the outside of the foot, pardon my back, and we can twist the other way. Or we can cross our hands and we can dive right down and as we cross the hands, notice what happens in the brain. It's a much deeper absorption of a hamstring glute stretch. And then come back. Other leg. Leg comes up and I just pull. I try to open my chest and relax my shoulders. I'm breathing diaphragmatically through my nose and I'm using the ocean sounding breath. The cool down is so important. It's really the warm up for the next time that we're going to use the body in exercise. So just if you don't like the cool down, visualize it as your next warm up. Seven to ten breaths. Breathing as slowly as possible. We want to strengthen the diaphragm muscle and vagus nerve activity. Straightening the leg away, come into the back of the leg. You just fold down. You'll get action right away. You can feel that right away. And just breathe into where you're feeling the heat or the sensations. And just cool it. Like it's a fire hose on a controlled fire. Let your breath be a cooling visualization into where you're feeling the heat of the body working. If you wanted to add a little bit to it, you could pardon my back. I'm going to turn and breathe. Shoulders are relaxed, strong. I come around, I grab the outside of the foot, I turn the other way. It's a wonderful stretch for the spine, while at the same time opening my rib cage for maximum cardio. And as I breathe deeper, I'm actually reshaping my rib cage from the inside out. And when I like to come back, I like to cross my hands when I come down. And remember, if you have a towel, you can simply roll the towel up and this could give you the same sensation. But it's really all about how deep can you inhale and how long can you exhale when you're putting your body in unusual positions. Why is that important? Because when you come back to your natural position now, you'll be taking less breaths per minute. And less breaths per minute probably means a recalibrated blood pressure, a recalibrated cardiovascular system, stronger elimination, stronger assimilation of your nutrition, and greater clarity in what you're trying to achieve in your mind for optimal cerebral performance. So I hope you got something out of this. It's a lot of fun being with you today. My name is Eddie Harold. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Have a great day and remember, go be great.